what are the protein requirements for nursing moms in other words what is the protein recommended dietary allowance during lactation number 1 there is no research data on this partly because the test which tells us about the rda cannot be done on nursing mothers therefore the official bodies do what is known as an estimation of rda they take the protein requirement for non pregnant non lactating adults which is 0.8 g per kg of body weight a day and then they add what is the breast milk protein output that lactating mothers have which is 0.5 g and therefore the rda of protein for nursing mothers is supposed to be 1.3 g per kg of body weight every day however there were a few studies which actually tried to measure what was the rda one study found out that if you give 1 g per kg of body weight every day it was severely low intake for 100% of the nursing moms 100% of the lactating women found that 1 g per kg of body weight was extremely low intake the link to this paper is at the bottom of the screen in another experiment when the scientists gave 1.5 g per kg of body weight 50% of the nursing women found this was low intake they started showing symptoms of protein deficiency that means 1.5 g per kg of body weight itself was inadequate for half the mothers to calculate the rda you will need to know what was the adequate number for 97 to 98% of the lactating mothers which this study did not do so we say that you should aim for at least 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of mother's body weight a day because we don't know what it should be for 97% of the women we just say at least for 50% of the women that's the number so stick to it As an example if the mother's body weight is 60 kg she should consume at least 90 g of protein a day Now the obvious question would be if the official RDA is 1.3 g and we are finding 1.5 g itself is inadequate for 50% of the mothers how are these nursing mothers finding 1.3 g to be adequate Well the answer is they don't What happens is body starts adapting to the lower requirement of protein protein is needed for huge number of bodily function some of them are not immediate or urgent for survival for example immunity is not needed for immediate survival hair growth is not needed for immediate survival hemoglobin is not needed for immediate survival so the body starts diverting protein for absolutely essential or survival mechanisms and lets go of some tasks which are more for long term well being of the mother and the baby and so some of the tasks start suffering so 1.3 grams per kilogram of body weight might ensure survival it will not even ensure all the basic requirements of the mothers they might get increased hair fall for example 1.5 grams per kilogram of body weight itself will take care of some more ladies but not all keep these factors in mind because ignorance is a very bad strategy when it comes to staying healthy during lactation To see more videos on this topic click on the box in the center to subscribe to our YouTube channel click in the circle on the right hand side and click in the box on the left side to see some of our most popular videos